Now the hole in the ground and the green grass grew all around And in that hole there was a tree The prettiest tree you ever did see Now the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground And the green grass grew all around And on that tree there was a branch The prettiest branch you ever did see Now the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole And the hole in the ground and the green grass grew all around And on that branch there was a limb The prettiest limb you ever did see Now the limb on the branch and the branch on the tree And the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground And the green grass grew all around And on that limb there was a twig The prettiest twig ever did see Now the twig on the limb and the limb on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree and the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grew all around and on that twig there was a nest the prettiest nest you ever did see Now the nest on the twig and the twig on the limb and the limb on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree and the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grew all around and in that nest There was a bird, the prettiest bird you ever did see. Now the bird in the nest, and the nest in the twig, and the twig and the limb, and the limb on the branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grew all around. And on that bird, there was a wing, the prettiest wing you ever did see. Now the wing on the bird and the bird in the nest and the nest on a twig and a twig on a limb and a limb on the branch and the branch on a tree and a tree in the hole and the hole in the ground. The green grass grew all around and on that wing there was a feather, the prettiest feather you ever did see. Now the feather on the wing and the wing on the bird and the bird in the nest and the nest on a twig and the twig on the limb and the limb on the branch and the branch on a tree and a tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grew all around. This is 
the way we iron our clothes, iron our clothes, iron our clothes. This is the way we iron our clothes so early Tuesday morning. This is the way we mend our clothes, mend our clothes, mend our clothes. This is the way we mend our clothes so early Wednesday morning. This is the way we scrub the floor, scrub the floor, scrub the floor. This is the way we scrub the floor so early Thursday morning. This is the way we sweep the house, sweep the house, sweep the house. This is the way we sweep the house so early Friday morning. This is the way we bake our bread, bake our bread, bake our bread. This is the way we bake our bread so early Saturday morning. This is the way we go to church, go to church, go to church. This is the way we go to church so early Sunday morning. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning.
Did you know that Mother Goose had a little rabbit and his name was Honey Bunny? You never heard of him? No? Well, we'll tell you all about it now. Hippity, hippity, hop. We'll tell you the story from bottom to top. Little Honey Bunny, if you'll be my Honey Bunny, I will be your Honey Bee. Stay with me forever, say that you will leave me never. Won't you make that promise to me? Life will always be so sunny, simple just as ABC.
goosey gander, whither shall I wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my lady's chamber. There I met an old man who would not say his prayers. I took him by the left leg and threw him down the stairs. was scampering around in the garden one day when he said to himself, Gosh, there's not much left to eat in this garden. I think I'll go over to Farmer Brown's. He has radishes and beans and lots of fresh carrots growing on his farm. Peter had just squeezed under the fence and was munching on a sweet carrot when Farmer Brown came running towards him. Get out of my carrot patch, you pesky rabbit. Go on, get. If I catch you in here again, I'll have you for rabbit stew. A few days later, Farmer Brown was busy hoeing, when suddenly he tripped and hurt his leg. Help! Help! I can't move! Somebody help me! Oh, you there, Peter Cottontail! Can you help me? I'm too little, Farmer Brown, but I'll run up to the big house on the hill and tell Mrs. Brown you're hurt! With a skip and a hop and a hop and a skip, Peter ran as fast as he could to tell Mrs. Brown that her husband needed help. Mrs. Brown and her two sons hurried back with Peter Cottontail and carried Farmer Brown into the house. The next day, when Farmer Brown was up and about again, he said to Peter Cottontail, Peter, I'm planting a new patch today, and it's going to be all carrots. Gee! And every carrot in that patch is going to be yours. Gee, thanks, Farmer Brown.
the chickens and the roosters and animals. Had some 